What we want to do now is to go beyond the headlines to look at another story that gets very little attention, the growing problem of HIV and AIDS in Russia. Authorities say that the number of HIV infections there has doubled in the past eight years and says that more than a million Russians have HIV. To discuss this worrying trend, we're joined by Rowena Johnston. She's the vice president and director of research at AMFAR, the foundation for AIDS research based right here in New York. New York. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me. Why is Russia experiencing such a steep increase in uh, the rate of HIV infection? A lot of the HIV infection that we're seeing in Russia is concentrated in injection drug users. And as you can imagine, injecting drugs and sharing needles with others is probably one of the most efficient ways that you can spread HIV between people. There are other countries, like Iran, for example, which also has a problem with intravenous drug users. It has addressed the whole idea of giving clean needles to people who are drug users and substituting heroin programs for methadone, for example. Russia seems to be very reluctant to do this. What's, why is that? Well, you know, certainly it is a frustration that governments all around the world are not using science-based prevention, but rather ideology-based. We see a resurgence of uh, religious belief in Russia, and I think that guides a lot of what the policies are that the lawmakers want to put into place. They don't believe that needle exchange programs reduce the amount of HIV, despite the fact that we have so much scientific evidence that says syringe exchange really does work. And there's also growing evidence that um, the number of sex workers in Russia have become infected with HIV. I mean, does that make it much more of a possibility that uh, it's going to now spread to the general population? Certainly sex workers can be a conduit from injection drug users to the general population. We're not seeing that to a great extent just yet in Russia, but Russia has reached a tipping point in their epidemic where about 1% of the population is HIV positive. They really need to address that 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 epidemic is largely in injection drug users, of whom many are also sex workers. If they don't address it now, there's a very real danger that that will really explode and become a very large problem in Russia. Russia, uh, at the same time, is spending a lot of money in treating uh, the problem of HIV and AIDS uh, in Russia, uh, but not so much in prevention. So give us a couple of examples of where it is doing well. Well, Russia is spending a lot of its uh, budget for AIDS on treating people and certainly in preventing mother-to-child transmission, which does involve administering antiretroviral therapy. They're doing very well on that, and I think everybody commends them for doing that. I think it's unfortunate that they're not spreading their budget further and implementing prevention programs that work for the rest of the population. All right, Rowena Johnston, thank you very much for coming on the program and shedding um, some light on this very important and, of course, often neglected subject. Thank you for having me.